Lost Ark is a free-to-play MMORPG published by Amazon Game Studios. Though released in 2019 in South Korea, it's only recently arrived here to the Western game market. It features action RPG combat, an immersive world, and a grinding playstyle common to games from Korea. How does Lost Ark fare on Shrine, a brand new emerging cloud gaming platform? I'm a little quick. Let's see if the Lost Ark can be found on Shrine. Welcome to Cloud Gaming Battle. Shrine is a PC rental style cloud gaming platform with their own custom app that's easy to install and use. They're quite new, having entered open beta in the last month and will likely have some things to work out before they're at 100%. That being said, it's already on the market and we're going to see how it handles. For the first portion of this review, we're going to be looking at Shrine's $19 per month package. They offer 1440p, 60fps streams, 256GB of SSD storage, and 40 hours of gameplay two things are immediately noticeable. The resolution on the desktop is not set to 1920 by 1080 and my cursor is far more sensitive than I'm used to, so we'll need to tweak a few things. Changing the display is easy. You simply adjust it like you would on any Windows PC through the display settings menu. Is this resolution difference responsible for the cursor speed? Nope, it's still moving fast. Changing the Windows cursor speed has no effect either. This leaves the possibility that the Shrine app itself is in full control of my cursor. Attempting to adjust the settings in the game itself didn't help. I have a solution for this, and it's called Parsec, and we'll get to that in a bit. Until then, I'd like to spend some more time with Shrine's custom app, so we'll just adjust ourselves to the cursor speed for now. Like most MMORPGs, your character in progress is stored on the game's servers, so no need to worry about cloud saves and I can play a character that I've previously made. Lost Ark plays well. The hardware provided by the folks at Shrine handles the game with no issues. FPS remains steady even with particles and effects all over the place. The gameplay is smooth. No complaints at all. Though the game is running well, visually the picture isn't as clear as I'd like. You can see the image losing quality at times. I suspect that the 15 megabit per second cap is the culprit here. When we stream other services, I'm usually setting that much higher. For example, on Shadow, I'm set to 50 megabits per second. I'm only streaming and recording at 1080p, so this would be even worse if we were doing at 1440 offered by this tier. Upgrading to the $39 a month tier would double the Shrine app's streaming cap to 30 megabits per second, which would help with the stream quality. I'm fortunate enough to be able to try that tier out as well. With the wider streaming pipes we're given with the $39 NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 tier, we're no longer getting any of the stream quality loss. However, they offer 4K streaming with this. If you try to stream in 4K, you're likely going to suffer stream quality issues again, as it's four times as many pixels as what we're doing right now. Shrine's in beta, but I imagine they're going to have to increase the stream caps in order to allow their user base to fully enjoy the solid hardware they provide. Now this whole time I've been playing with an ultra-sensitive mouse. We can adapt to that, but as with any cloud service, the goal is to emulate a PC as if we had it right in front of us, without these little quirks. Here are some of the other issues I ran into, and how they were solved to get us to that point. After loading Lost Ark, I notice my taskbar is taking priority over my windowed game. If you run into this issue, you can simply unlock the taskbar to get it where it belongs within the window settings. At another point, my cursor wandered off to another display. Looking into our display settings, we can see that our Shrine device has a secondary display attached. We're going to disable that display in order to prevent our cursor from wandering off again. But what about that cursor speed issue? Since that seems to be native to the Shrine app, we're going to try out another streaming app. Check out our tutorial on installing Parsec for use on Shrine if you need some guidance. Parsec has more options than Shrine's native app. We'll set our stream rate to match the 30 megabits per second that worked out for us. And the moment of truth for our cursor. There it is. Our mouse issues are tied to the Shrine app. Parsec's cursor control is perfect. Shrine's a promising newcomer that shows great potential. The hardware is strong, the prices are competitive, and both tiers had no issues playing Lost Ark. Though their custom app is extremely easy to use and gets the job done, there are improvements to be made, specifically the stream rate and the cursor control. The verdict? Recommended, but with an asterisk. The game's playable and enjoyable right out the gate using Shrine's easy-to-install app, but if you use Parsec to interface with your Shrine PC, the service runs Lost Ark smoothly, perfectly, and competes with some of the best the cloud gaming industry offers. Remember to subscribe for the latest news, reviews, tips, and comparisons on cloud gaming, including Shrine. For requests, comments, questions, or solutions, drop a comment below. Keep it tuned right here to the only place you can do battle in gaming heaven.
Cloud Gaming Battle. A little quick, signing out. <laughs>